Okay, you guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Beautiful Yaz, and I'm back with another video. Finally, my bad. I had y'all waiting <laughs> with these business videos. I started doing them, and then I had to take a little break because I got a lot of stuff going on, and then y'all know this coronavirus stuff is crazy right now. But <laughs> other than that, <laughs> Welcome back to the channel and today's video is a special video because I'm going to discuss some tips that we feel that'll be good for other hair business owners to um, basically get through this coronavirus and still have a successful business and still have business run normally through this pandemic since everything has been closed down. Like a lot of businesses have closed and you still wanna make your coins. <laughs> Whether a lot of businesses have closed or not, you still wanna be that one business that's open and that's still making money, bringing in money, and it's still open to the public. So let's just get, her, get right into these tips. So keep on watching. I'm one of the blessed ones that is still making money during this pandemic. Coronavirus is something serious for sure, but I'm still able to make my coins. When things like this happens or like anything that's like trending, I feel like it's very, very important for you to be creative with your marketing. That's tip number one. You definitely wanna be creative with your marketing. Like, say you're still doing hair you post like quarantine slay like i post i post i made a post on my hair instagram which is hair by yes and i in the caption i put quarantine slay who says you can't still look you can't look cute and stay in the house so people like that and you kind of stand out when you say things like that and have captions like that but um yeah, you just have to be creative with your marketing. With whatever is trending, try to relate it somehow to your business, and that'll make you stick out that much more than the next business. So another tip would be, I would definitely say that you, you should for sure always be, excuse me, sanitary, whether or not there's a virus going around, but you wanna be even more sanitary now that there is a virus going around. You want to um, basically, it's good to show your clients, your um, customers, your um, behind the scenes type of things that goes on with your business, such as you can show them videos of you sanitizing things, having your disinfectant spray, <laughs> like coronavirus is getting real. <laughs> I'll be having that Cardi B song in my head all the time. But um, you can show them how you sanitize stuff when you receive your shipments from your vendor and your packaging and all of that. I feel like that'll help and give them a sense of like, okay, I trust, I trust um, this business with uh, what they're doing and I'm gonna order hair from them. <laughs> but, um, and if you watched my last video, um, one of my last video uh, business videos that was how to start a business, I had um, talked about how important it is for your customer to trust you or how important it is for your potential customer to trust you because once they're over that trust thing, they're going to buy from you. So um, another tip would be is to um, get on Facebook. Everyone is at home right now. Everyone's stuck in the house. So they have free time. They have time to be on social media. People are on social media more now than ever before because we're, we're on lockdown. <laughs> we have to be in the house. And a lot of people are able to work from home and a lot of people are just at home not working because they have to be indoors. But um, I would definitely say, definitely one of the tips is to put out a lot of content like as much content as possible and I've heard before that um, it's really content over quality because the more content you put out the more people will be aware of you and aware of your brand and the more they're aware of your brand the more familiar you are to them and the more familiar you are to someone the more they'll trust you <laughs> the more they'll trust you the more they'll buy from you so yeah um let me see another tip i would definitely say get on tiktok if you don't have a tiktok make yourself a tiktok my tiktok my tiktok tiktok name is beautiful yeah zero one i think but um yeah post on there 
and post it on your Instagram page. Just be on social media. Like now is the best time to be on social media. All the social media, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, uh, Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, all, all of it. Every social media is like crowded right now because people have time. All right, you guys, so that concludes this video, my four or five tips that I gave. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. And I hope you guys have a, a successful month uh, during this pandemic and so forth. And definitely see that there's so much opportunity in this. For one, there's a lot of businesses that slack it because they're scared, but you don't want to live you don't want to live in fear. You want to still handle your business and do what you got to do and just do just do the necessary things. Take the necessary precautions so that you can still maintain your business. So, um what else do I want to say? I think that's it. Again, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Let me know what are you guys' thoughts in the comments below. If you have any more tips, please share. It'll be for me and for anyone else who watches this video. So, aren't you guys? Stay safe. Don't catch the Rona. Stop.